We're live. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Fellowship Joy YouTube channel. Check it up there, Fellowship Joy. That's here. All right, welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight we're reading from John chapter two. Welcome to a moment of joy. So, if this is your first night joining us, I know we do this every night. So, if this is your hundredth night, you're probably bored of it. But, anyways, if it's your first night, John is three quarters of the way through the Bible. Unless you're reading just a New Testament, in which case, it's the fourth book. And if you're reading just an Old Testament, well, you're out of luck. There's no John in the Old Testament, so there's. Yeah. A... Okay, uh, tonight we're reading John chapter two, beginning in verse thirteen. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and others sitting in tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then responded to him, what sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? Jesus answered, Destroy this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you're going to raise it in three days. But the temple he was, he'd spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. Now, while he was in Jerusalem, at the Passover festival, many people saw the sign he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. Any questions? Oh. So Jesus knows what's in each person. Makes sense. He created everybody. There you go. So he doesn't need anybody to tell him about them. Right? Yes. Okay. So you got that. Um. Here again, this... Uh, like... I, I I really I really enjoy John. I, I I love when Jesus says something. And and we're we're going to discuss this a lot more tomorrow. But I love how Jesus will say something like destroy this temple and I'll build it in 3 days and then people will respond with just the most obvious answers. Like it took 46 years. How are you going to do it in 3 days? You know, because people aren't are thinking about different things than Jesus is. Because Jesus thinks about heavenly things and, and we're stuck on earthly things. So, yeah. And, and John makes that very clear in every every little section we read. It, it just becomes clear that Jesus is separate from the Father and yet fully God. Okay. Um, if there's no more questions, I don't see any comments, so let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you came in the flesh as the Son, that you sent your only Son to live and to die for us. We thank you that Jesus, the Son, is separate from the Father and yet fully God. We love and praise you, Lord Jesus, even though we cannot understand this. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, we will see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. Bye-bye.